Good afternoon and welcome to Championship Sunday here from the friendly confines of the Lulee Fieldhouse on the campus of Maple State University for the Women's Conference Tournament Championship game between the ninth ranked and two seeded Dakota State Trojans and the 12th ranked one seeded Mayville State Comets. Nick Pauls here bringing you the action this afternoon. Should be a good one this four time this teams have matched up so far this year. Dakota State holds the 2-1 overall record on the season. Uh, earlier this year, Dakota State beat Mayville State 63-59 in a non-conference game down in Valley City. Then they split the conference season series. Dakota State winning 71-48 down in Madison, and the Comets picking up the 72-49 victory here in Mayville. So it should be a good one. Rematch of last year's conference tournament title game where the Comets picked up the 66-52 victory. Dakota State still out shooting around. Comets are down in their locker room. For the Trojans, they come in at 25-5 overall. They finished 11-1 in conference. So far in the tournament as they're the two seed, so they did not get the first round by. They beat Waldorf 99-43 in the quarterfinals and Dickinson State 72-50 in the semifinals to advance to this title game. For the Comets, 23-3 overall. They also finished 11-1 in conference, sharing the regular season title with the Trojans, but Comets were able to win the coin toss, which gave them the one seed and home court advantage. Comets beat Viterbo 94-62 in a semifinal game to advance here to the title game. On the men's side, it's the six-seeded Dickinson State Blue Hawks and the one-seeded Bellevue Bruins. That's getting ready to tip off in about 10 minutes or so. We'll keep an eye on that one throughout the afternoon. Comets men lost last weekend to Dickinson State. Dickinson State's on upset alert as they've upset the number three seed Waldorf Warriors and then the two-seeded Comets to advance here to the title game down in Bellevue. Now both teams are a sh pretty much a shoe-in to get into the national tournament whether they win or lose this game. Dakota State being ranked number nine in the country and the Comets being ranked 12th in the latest NAIA Top 25 coaches poll that came out this past Wednesday. Dakota State moved up one, Mabel State holding strong at 12 where they have been for the last few weeks. After this, the selection show is March 7th, which is Thursday night. It'll start at 7 p.m. Central Time on the NAIA YouTube page where teams will find out their seating and where they're going. I know Dakota State was announced as one of the host sites for the opening round. I'm not sure the other host sites, but those will come out with that selection show. Give you the starting lineups here. First for Dakota State, once again, Two seeded, number ninth in the country, coming 25 and five. They finished 11 and one in conference. They'll go with Caitlin Dyer, 5'4 sophomore out of Morphettville, South Australia. Savannah Walsdorf, a six foot senior out of Keel, Wisconsin. Angela Slattery, a 5'11 junior out of Franksville, Wisconsin. Lily Mackley, a six foot junior out of Stillwater, Minnesota. And Morgan Huber, a 5'8 senior out of Alexandria, South Dakota. Trojans are coached by David Moe, assisted by Jacob Lear, Vanna Gail Schlechter, Carter Malone, and Danny Frisbee Griffin. For the Comets, the one seed in this tournament, ranked 12th in the country, 23 and three overall. They finished 11 and one in conference. They'll go with standard lineup that has been for pretty much all year. First couple games of the season, there was a little bit different look, but since conference play started, this has been the main five. They'll go with CJ Decker, a 5'4 senior out of Howard Lake, Minnesota. Aaron Walker, a 5'11 grad student out of Beulah, North Dakota. Mackenzie Hughes, a 5'5 junior out of Thompson, North Dakota. Jess Merton is a 5'9 senior from Devils Lake, North Dakota. And Jordan Zrust, a 6'0 grad student out of Buffalo, Minnesota. Comments are coached by Dennis Hutter, assisted by Claire Blazik, Bailey Norris, and Jayla Russ. Both teams finishing up their warm-ups. We'll take a break as they're going to do the anthem and starting lineups. Come back with opening tip off right after this.
starting lineups have been introduced for Dakota State in their road blacks. Dakota State across chess. Letters in white, numerals in blue outlined in white for the Comets in their home whites. Mayville across chess, letters and numerals in blue outlined in gray. Comets just breaking their huddles. We're about set to go here. Be Slattery and Zrust to jump. Whistle blows, tip is up, and we are underway in the conference title game on the women's side as the Comets control, working left to right on your video screen. Decker controls, right side leave it Mertens. Mertens picks up her dribble, bounces at baseline for Decker. Decker leaves it in the corner for Hughes. Hughes, dribble driving into the lane, out to Walker, and throws it away, turnover number one on the Comets. Passes just a little too high and to the right of Walkers. Turnover number one on the Comets. You have Dakota State, the ball is will be Dyer bringing across for the Trojans, leave it left side Walsdorf. Walsdorf wearing a mask on her face. See how much that affects her tonight. Bounce pass now into the corner for Walsdorf for three and buries it. Savannah Walsdorf gets the scoring start here. Three nothing Trojans early as they go into a one three one press. And now comes to Hughes, leaves it back Decker. Decker up ahead Mertens. Mertens will get a Decker who gets it across just in time. Bounce pass tries to go to Hughes. Knocked out of bounds by Slattery. Possession will stay with the Comets. This will be Decker to inbound on the sideline. Inbound comes to Hughes on the wing. Hughes dribble drive into the lane. Step through, layup no good. Hits the deck, no whistle. Rebound down into the hands of Mackley. Up ahead quickly, Walsdorf. Walsdorf cross court pass to Huber. Huber drills it all the way to free throw line. Now out Walsdorf, left wing triple try off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound down into the hands of CJ Decker. Should leave it up Walker. Walker dribbles to the left side of the lane. Cut off, spin move back out. Merton, she wants a three. No good. Rebound grab by Savannah Walsdorf. Walsdorf, the leading rebounder on the second leading rebounder on this team. We're going to have a travel call. Turnover number one on the Trojans. That'll sub in Sierra Watkins, a 5'7 freshman out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And Tabor Teal, 5'11 sophomore out of Colton, South Dakota. See him comes to Decker, leave it up ahead for Mertens. Mertens on the block, cut off, picks up a dribble, needs somewhere to go with it, leaves it out Walker on the wing. Walker to Decker. Decker controlling, drives left, cut off, leaves out right side. To Zrust. Zrust in the lane, step through, layup is good. The player of the year gets her first points of the ball game. Cuts it to a one point Trojan advantage. Dyer leaves it left side for Walsdar. Back out Watkins. Back to Dyer. Dyer to the free throw line, leaving it in the corner for Teal. Teal drives baseline, cut off by Walker. Back out. Dyer wants a three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound down into the hands of Jordan Zrust. Comets have been able to put together a couple stops here so far, just looking to capitalize on them. Zeros controls. She gets to the block, cut off, into the corner Walker. Walker will drive towards the middle of the lane. Right hand layup, no good. Might have been blocked by Teal. Rebound down into the hands of the Trojans. Cleared by Slattery. Leave it out, Watkins. Watkins way out top. Leaves it now Dyer. Dyer right side, cut off by Hughes. Dyer now bring it over left side. Leave it for Walsdorf. Walsdorf dribbles behind the back dribble. Now cut off. Back out left wing triple try on the way from Dyer is good. Six to two. Trojans lead here early. Just about three minutes gone here in the first quarter of this championship game. Mertens picks up her dribble, leaves it for Decker. Decker had Walker wide open in the corner, misses it, and that pass is stolen away by Slattery. Slattery, fast break, layup, no good. They're going to get CJ Decker on the foul, though. It'll be Decker's first, first of the quarter on the Comets. That'll sub in Bria Wasman for the first time for Dakota State. Wasman, a 5'5 freshman out of Sibley, Iowa. And for the Comets, Taylor Dean, 5'6 senior out of Stanley, North Dakota, and Alex Page, 6' foot junior out of Grand Forks. First free throw is no good out of the hands of Slattery. Slattery coming into today. Shooting 71% from the free throw line. Gets the first one averaging just under 10 points a game. That'll also sub in, back in Lily Mackley. 
Slattery will have a seat. 7-2, Trojans lead here. 6.56 left to go in the opening quarter. Inbound comes to Mertens in the backcourt. So lead it for Hughes. Hughes up ahead to Dean. Dean back to Hughes. Hughes will get it across. Tries to dribble through Chief Bill, Bill somehow does. Leave it back out, Dean. Mertens controls on the wing. Mertens drives right. Back out, Dean. Extra pass to Mer Hughes. Hughes tries to get it to Page and throws it away down to the radio member of Dakota State. Turnover again on the Comets. That'll sub back in Morgan Humer. And for the first time, Mike and Vincent, a 5'10 senior out of Volga, South Dakota. So some early offensive woes for the Comets. Three turnovers already to just one made basket. Vincent being hounded by Hughes in the backcourt. Tries to get it to Mackley and does. Left wing Walsdorf controlling. Now right side, Huber. Huber cut off, leaves it for cutting Walsdorf. Walsdorf spin move, cut off by Page. Somehow gets away with the travel, but misses the layup anyway. Rebound down to the hands of Jordan Zrust, her second. Zrust leaves it for Dean. Dean right side, Mertens. Mertens cut off into the post now for Zrust. Zrust loses it, but is able to get it back. Spins back right, layup is no good, but she is fouled and she'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul is on Vincent. Her first, team first. That'll sub back in Dyer and Mackley. And for the first time tonight, Olivia Ritter, a 5'9 junior from T, South Dakota, by way of Dort. Zrust to the line to shoot two. Zrust was named the player of the year for the second year in a row last week. Misses the first free throw. Coming into this, Zrust averaging a career high 21 points per game and shooting a career high 86% from the free throw line. Second free throw on the way from Zrust is good. She's, she's got all three points for the Comets. They trail by four, 7-3. Under six minutes left to go here in the opening quarter of play. Left side, Ritter controls. Leaves it up for Dyer. Dyer, right side, Huber. Huber drills it towards the free throw line. Is stopped, cut off, leaves it back out. Dyer, Dyer with 15 on the shot clock. Back out for Ritter, back to Dyer. She wants a three. No good off the side of the rim. Rebound down to the hands of Jess Mertens. Mertens. Without numbers, still with it, gets to the free throw line, leave it out, Zrust. Zrust wants a three. Too strong, no good, rebound down into the hands of Olivia Ritter. Ritter cut off, gets it to Dyer, barely. Dyer controls left wing, she'll hand off to Ritter. Ritter picks up her dribble, leaves it for a cutting Slattery. Slattery into the corner for Huber. Huber gets the block cut off, back out Slattery for three. No good, but she is fouled by Zrust and she'll go to the line to shoot three. Zrust first, second of the quarter on the Comets. That will sub in for the first time tonight, Greta Hillica. Hillica, a 5'8 sophomore from Pura, Minnesota. Sent Angela Slattery to the free throw line to shoot two. She's one of two so far tonight. Make that two of three if she hits the first one. Second free throw on the way is also good. Savannah Walsdorf says check back in for the Trojans. Third free throw is good. So Slattery goes three of three. That'll sub in Walsdorf for Olivia Ritter. Trojans back into this one through one press. They lead by seven, 10-3. Five minutes exactly left to go here in the opening quarter of play. Inbounds, try and get ahead to Dress, but overthrows it. That is stolen by Vincent. Vincent leaves it for Huber, into the corner, Slattery for three, and hits it just like that. Trojans lead by 10, Coach Hunter wants a timeout, it's a 30 second timeout. Take it with them, 4.51 left to go here in the opening quarter of play. Mayville State has great new scholarship opportunities. Together with our affordable cost, fantastic quality of education, and our commitment to personal service, Mayville State University is the place to be. A university that provides exceptional experience for a great value. Study on campus or online. Make it Mayville State. There's no fee to apply for admission. Go to www.maybillestate.edu slash makeitmayville to explore all that awaits you as a student at Mayville State. Update on the men's conference title game being played down in Bellevue between the Bruins and the Dickens State Bluehawks. Dickinson leads by 4, 6-2, about five minutes into that one. Back underway here. 
Mertens controls. Near side, she'll leave it now far side for Hillica. Hillica picks up her dribble, leaves it for Mertens, somehow gets it. Mertens into the corner for Zruss. Zruss steps into a mid-range jumper. Too strong, no good. Rebound down to the hands of Walsdorf. The Comets are ice cold on offense here to start. Left side, Dyer controls. Now leave it far side for Slattery. Slattery cut off. Now leaves it back out, Huber. Huber leaves it for Walsdorf. Walsdorf cut off by Page on the drive. Leaves it down into the post for Slattery. Slattery bring it back out. Leave it Walsdorf on the wing. Thought about the three. She'll put it on the floor with seven on the shot clock. And we're going to have a foul on the drive on C.J. Decker. Her second, third of the quarter on the Comets. That'll sub back in. Mackenzie Hughes and back in for the Trojans. Tabor Teal and Sierra Watkins. Left side inbound for Dyer. Dyer will get it into Walsdorf. Walsdorf in the middle of the lane. Back out Watkins. Now back to Walsdorf, top of the key. Watkins controlling. She'll hand off to Dyer. Dyer left side for Slattery. Slattery with nine on the shot clock and she's going to travel with it. That's turnover number two on the Trojans. Comets so far just one of six from the field for 16%, way under their season average of 45% from the field. The inbound comes to Hughes in the backcourt. She'll leave it left side for Hillica. Back to Hughes. Hughes gets down to the middle of the lane, picks up her dribble, looking for somewhere to go with it. Step through layup, blocked by Teal. Teal averaging two blocks per game on the season. Gets her first of the afternoon as Watkins controls. Watkins picks up her dribble, needs somewhere to go with it. Leaves it back out left side for Walsdorf. Walsdorf in the middle of the lane, leave it back out. Nope, that's stolen away by Hillica. Tried to get it to Dwyer, but Hillica jumped the passing lane. Hillica will hand off to Hughes. Hughes to the block, cut off, back out Hillica. Hillica tries to hand it back to Hughes, stolen away by Walsdorf, but she's going to step out of bounds. Aaron Walker will sub back in for the Comets. Alex Page out. In for the Trojans, Vincent. And Mackley, they'll replace Dyer and Slattery. The Comets ball, Hughes to inbound on the baseline. 19 seconds shoot on the shot clock. 3.13 left to go in the opening quarter. Comets trail 13-3. Inbound comes to Hillica. She thought about the threes. That should leave it out for Mertens. Mertens at the elbow. Picks up her dribbling for somewhere to go with it. Leaves it out. Zeros, Zeros with nine on the shot clock. Zeros back out Hughes. Hughes dialing up long distance. Connects. Kenzie Hughes, first points of the ball game, makes it a 13-6 Trojans advantage. Much needed bucket for the Comets. Vincent will hand off to Watkins. Watkins just barrels into Hughes, and Hughes draws the charge. Offensive foul on Sierra Watkins, her first, and Hughes was fired up after that. So the Comets try to swing momentum back in their favor. So it's the first foul on Watkins, second of the quarter on the Trojans, as the inbound comes to Mertens in the backcourt. Mertens, trap, needs somewhere to go with it. Still trap, gets it to Hillica somehow. Hillica into the corner, Walker. Walker gets towards the middle of the lane, stops, fakes a move, right hand layup is good. Aaron Walker gets on the board. Comets trail by five. It's like that, it's a two possession ball game. It's up top, Vincent controls, leaves it left side, Walsdorf back to Vincent. Comets in a 2 3 zone here. Vincent picks up her dribble, looking for somewhere to go with it. Leaves it out for Watkins. Back to Vincent. She'll fire the three and hit it. Vincent's first points of the ball game. Makes it an eight-point Trojan advantage. Mertens controls. Tries to dribble through two people. Has it stolen away by Watkins. Quickly up ahead, Walsdorf. Walsdorf, left-hand layup is good. Just like that, it's back to a ten-point game. Minute 50 to go here in the opening quarter as the inbound comes to Mertens. Mertens baseball pass up ahead to Hillica. Hillica down into the corner will pull it back out. Now she'll drive baseline, cut off, leaves it back out top top for Mertens. Mertens fakes the three, drives into the middle of the lane, picks up a dribble, leaves it back out Hughes. Hughes thought about the three, she'll put it on the floor, gets into the middle of the lane, back out Hillica. Hillica leaves it for Hughes. Walker controlling. Walker with eight on the shot clock, loses her footing, gets it to Mertens. Mertens with five on the shot clock, got to get a shot up. Right hand floater, no good. Rebound down in the hands of Walsdorf, her third already. Walsdorf has it poked away by Mertens, right to Zruss, so turnover on the Trojans. Comets hoping to capitalize here. Right side, Hughes wants another deep three and buries it. 
Here's his second three ball of the game. Cuts it back to a seven point lead, 18-11 as we cross under a minute to go here in the opening quarter of play. Watkins gets the middle of the lane, leave it out left side for Walsdorf. Walsdorf to the right block, picks up her dribble, back out Watkins. Watkins, stop, pop jumper in the middle of the lane. No good, rebound down in the hands of Mertens. Mertens second rebound of the game. Mertens leaves it for a trailing Zrust. Zrust left side for Hillica. Hillica into the post for Zrust. Zrust spins back to her left, gets the bucket plus the foul, Jordan Zrust. That foul is on Tabor Teal. Her first third of the quarter. Kayla Rockel in for the first time tonight for the Comets. Rockel, a 5 8 senior from Underwood, Minnesota. Angela Slattery, Caitlin Dyer. Let's see who else here checked in. Looks like Olivia Ritter sub back in, and Morgan Huber. For the Trojans, free throw from Zuss is no good. Remains a five point game, 18-13, 25 seconds left. Shot clock turned off. Trojans likely hold for the last shot of the quarter here. Dyer being guarded closely by Rockle. 15 left to go here in the opening quarter. Rockle hounding Dyer and she's gonna get called for a reach. Pretty ticky tack call there. At least from my point of view, it looked like she hit all ball, but the refs say otherwise. So that's the first foul on Rocco, fourth of the quarter on the Comets. 10.7 left to go here in the opening quarter. It'll be Teal to inbound. She'll get it out to Dyer, back to Teal. Teal loses it, but somehow gets it right to Vincent. Back to Teal with four on the shot clock. Bodies hit the deck, ball is loose. We're gonna have a tie up with .7 seconds left. Possession will remain with the Trojans. The Trojans to inbound on the baseline. 0.7 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Dyer to inbound. That pass is knocked back out of bounds by Mertens. 0.3 on the shot clock, so not enough time to get a shot off. It'd have to be a tip. Dyer gets it into the corner for Slattery. Doesn't get a shot off. That's how the quarter will end. Trojans were able to control most of that, but Counts are able to get a little momentum back. Trojans lead 18-13 here in the North Star Athletic Association Conference Tournament Women's Championship game. Back right after this. Goose River Bank is here for the communities we serve. Building relationships that last a lifetime. Serving the strong Red River Valley and beyond. We are your neighbors, friends, and family. Committed to providing everything from everyday personal banking to loans for your farm or business. Visit one of our locations in Mayville, Hillsboro, or Hatton. Or reach out and we'll happily come to you. Because it's the neighborly thing to do. Goose River Bank. Strong bank. Strong communities. Give you an update on the men's tournament championship game going on now down in Bellevue between Dickens State and the Bruins. Blue Hawks and Bruins are tied. Nope, Bellevue just took the lead 12 10 over the Blue Hawks. 11 14 left to go in the first half of that one. The Comets ball here to start the second quarter. They trail by 5, 18 13. Dakota State 4 is 7 from 3 in that opening quarter. Maple State just 2 4. That's kind of the difference here. So you have a stoppage in play here for something on the baseline. It looks like one of the refs is looking at something. Calling for a towel. It must be a wet spot. So we get that cleaned up. Points off turnovers, pretty big story here so far. Mabel State has 10 points off of five Dakota State turnovers and Dakota State nine points off of five Mabel State turnovers. So pretty evenly numbered there in terms of points off turnovers. 
So we're back underway here, start of the second quarter. Inbound comes to Hughes in the backcourt. She'll bring it across. Hughes leading the way for the Comets so far with six points, both three-pointers. Mertens controls. Mertens gets around her defender, right side of the lane. Layup is good. Mertens' first points of the ball game makes it a one-possession game, 18-15. 20 seconds into the second quarter here. He's left side, Ritter controlling. Ritter picks up a dribble, tries to get back out. Dyer, but stolen away by Kayla Rockle. Rockle loses the handle on it, and that's going to go out of bounds back to the Trojans. As Savannah Walsdorf and Tabor Teal will sub back in for the Trojans. Olivia Ritter and Mike and Vincent out. Inbound comes to Dyer. She'll bring it across. Leave it left side for Walsdorf. Back to Dyer out on the North Dakota logo. Leave it left wing for Walsdorf. Walsdorf gets in the lane. Cut off by Walker. Back out Dyer. Dyer spin move to the free throw line. Back out Walsdorf. Comets back to this 2-3 zone. Walsdorf cut off. Leaves it back out Dyer with eight on the shot clock. Right side Huber. Huber stop pop jumper from mid-range. No good. Rebound tapped around. Grabbed by Mertens. Somehow loses it but gets it back. And then we're going to have a foul on Dakota State. That'll be on Caitlin Dyer, her first, first of the quarter on the Trojans. So it'll be Walker to inbound right in front of the scorer's table. She'll get it in to Hughes. Hughes will walk the cross right side. Now leave it far side for Mertens. Mertens leaves it wing for Rockle. Rockle bounce pass into the lane for Zeruss. Zeruss leaves it back out Rockle. Rockle into the corner, Mertens. Mertens wants a triple. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound down into the hands of Morgan Huber. Huber with a full head of steam, stops, and that's going to be a travel. She drug her back foot, saw her wide open teammate in the corner, but turns it over. Turnover number seven on the Trojans. Trojans back to this pressure in the backcourt. It's kind of caused a little bit of havoc for the Comets. Mertens will bring it across, being hounded by Dyer. She'll leave it for Hughes. Hughes behind the back dribble, back out right side for Mertens. Mertens gets to the block. Step through layup is no good. Rebound down into the hands of Slattery. Backcourt pressure, and we're going to have a foul in the backcourt on Jess Mertens. Mertens first, second of the quarter. Excuse me, first of the quarter on the Comets. Zimbabwe will come to Dyer. 18-15 the score here, about two minutes gone here in the second quarter of play in this Women's Conference Tournament Championship game here in the NSAA. Super controls, picks up her dribble, cut off, needs somewhere to go with it, leave it back out for Teal. Pass is tipped, but Dyer's able to track it down, leave it back out Huber. Huber will step into a deep three, off the back of the rim, no good, rebound up and grabbed by Mertens, and she is going to get fouled on the rebound by Angela Slattery. Slattery's first. That'll sub in Taylor Dean for the Comets. Jess Mertens, you know, Kayla Rock will have a seat and in for the Trojans. Lily Mackley, Morgan Huber, excuse me, Morgan Huber has had a seat. Sierra Watkins, Lily Mackley. Can't see who the other one is as the pass comes to Dean. Dean will cross the timeline, being triple teamed. Leaves it out Walker. That other player was Vincent who subbed in for the Trojans. Mertens thought about three on the right side. She'll put on deck, gets into the lane. Floater no good. Rebound down into the hands of Vincent. She'll leave it for Dyer. Quick clip ahead, Walsdorf. Walsdorf cut off by Hughes. Back out Dyer. Right side controlling is Mackley. Mackley in the middle of the lane. Cut off by Walker. Leaves it back out, Watkins. Watkins down the left side of the lane. Blocked by Walker. Gets the rebound and throws it off of Watkins to keep possession of the of the ball. Nice play there from the fifth year senior Aaron Walker to block the shot, grab the rebound, and then as she's falling out of bounds, throw it off of Watkins, who was already out of bounds. Good heads up play there from the Beulah native. Left side controlling is Dean now. Gets it up ahead to Walker. Walker being double teamed in the corner. Wrap around pass to Zeruss. Zeruss had a wide open Dean in the baseline, but didn't see her. Hughes leaves it left side Walker. Walker thought about the three set. She'll hand off back to Hughes. Hughes with 13 on the shot clock. She'll fire up another deep three and bury it. Mackenzie Hughes doing her best Caitlin Clark impersonation this afternoon. She's got three triples. Comets and Trojans are tied at 18. Right side, Mackley controls, leaving in the corner for Watkins. Back out corner, Dyer to answer. Misses everything, no good. Rebound down into the hands of Mertens as the Comets student section lets her hear about it. 
Mertens down the left side of the lane. Step through, right hand, off-bounce layup. No good. She just lost her footing there. Rebound down to the hands of Vincent. Corner triple try on the way from Watkins. In and out, no good. But offensive rebound, Vincent, as nobody boxed her out, she puts it in for the second chance points. Vincent's first points of the ball game gives the Trojans back a two-point lead, 20-18. As far side, Dean will bring it across for the Comets. Picks up her dribble, leaves it for Zrust. Zrust on the left side of the lane, layup is good, plus the foul, Jordan Zrust. <laughs> Ties us back at 20, that foul is on Walsdorf, her first. That'll sub in Hillica and Decker for the Comets. Hughes and Mertens out. Teal back in for the Trojans. Dyer and Vincent out. It's like... Just free throw is good. Wasman is ulti, the other one he subbed in for the Trojans. Comets lead by one, 21 20. Jarus has got eight points on the ball game. Watkins controls right side. Now Schirmer towards the top of Key, leave it back out for Vincent. Vincent thought about the three, but said she'll hold on to it. They'll put it on the deck, get in the middle of the lane, leave it out left side. Walsdorf. Walsdorf back out. Vincent, she'll fire the three. Wide right, no good. Offensive rebound, though, into the hands of Tabor Teal. Teal will leave it for Mackley. Mackley in the corner. Gets it into the post for Teal. Teal working on Walker, and she traveled with it. Turnover number eight on the Trojans. Good defense there from Walker to stay with her and force that travel. Walker might not have scored much today, only two points, but has played really good defense for the Comets so far, which is much needed. Decker over and across left side, runs into trouble, tries to get it to Dean, but that's stolen away by Watkins. Watkins, fast break layup, lays it up and in for two. Trojans have the lead again, 22-21. Great crowd on hand here for this one. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of empty seats. Good contingent from the Trojans fans. As Russ has a wide open layup and lays it in for two. She got free of the defense there. Comets back up by one. Halfway gone here in the second quarter of play. Left side, Mackley controls. She'll get into the post for Teal. Teal guarded by Hillica. Layup no good. Rebound, Walker. Walker looking to push tempo. Leave it right side for Decker. Decker will leave it out left side for Hillica. Hillica gets in the lane. Leaves it for Dean. Dean on the baseline. Looking for somewhere to go. Through. Bounce pass to a cutting. Zruss, nice find from Taylor Dean to Zruss. Zruss lays it up and in for two. Zruss has got 12 points. Comets lead by three, 25-22. Up top, Teal controlling. As soon as that was Vincent, leave it right side for Watkins. Watkins will bring it back out towards the top of the key, leave it left side for Mackley. Mackley has it poked away by Decker, grabbed by Walker, and she's going to be fouled on the reach in there. That's on Mackley, her first fourth of the quarter. Olivia Ritter. Angela Slattery and Morgan Huber back in for the Trojans. Alex Page and Mackenzie Hughes back in for Dean and Walker. Good minutes there from Taylor Dean off the bench. Might not have scored much, but does have an assist and playing some good defense as the amount comes to Hughes. She'll leave it for Decker. Comets looking to build on this three-point lead. Up ahead, Zrust. Pass was just a little too far for Decker, and that's a turnover on the Comets as Teal will bring it across. Teal, left side of the lane, working on Page, and she's going to get fouled. And go to the line to shoot two. That's the first foul on Alex Page. Second of the quarter on the Comets. Also back in Mertens for Jordan Zrust. That'll send Teal to the line to shoot two. First free throw on the way is in and out. No good. Teal, 71% free throw shooter on the year. Makes the first one. Cuts it to a two-point Comets lead, 25-22. 3.55 left to go here in the first half as the inbound comes to Hughes, leaves it back Decker. Decker tries to get to Hillico, but that is stolen away by Slattery. Leaves it for Lasman, who leaves it for Ritter, who lays it up and in for two. And we are tied back at 25. Hughes up ahead, Decker. Decker tries to go to Page, but just throws it too hard. Out of bounds, turnover, number 10 on the Comets. That'll sub back in Kayla Rockle for C.J. Decker for the Comets. Press still continuing to cause a little bit of havoc for the Comets.
So go back this way with Wasman. She'll leave it right side for Slattery. Slattery back out Huber into the corner for Wasman. She drives baseline, cut off. Back out Slattery, then she throws it away. They're going to say, nope, last touched by the Comets. That was tipped out of bounds. So remain Trojans ball. 16 seconds left to shoot on the shot clock. It'll be Huber to inbound on the sideline. Huber will get it out up top for Wasman. Wasman being guarded closely by Hughes. Wasman loses her footing. They're going to get Hughes with the foul. Could have gone either way there. Is Wasman had her hooked. They're going to get Hughes with her first foul of the ball game, third of the quarter on the Comets. Be Wasman to inbound. She gets it in to Slattery. Back out Huber. Huber cut off by Page. Back out Wasman on the wing. Wasman back to Huber with 12 on the shot clock. Huber will bring it out way up top for Slattery. Slattery with eight on the shot clock. Step through layup, no good. Rebound tap from Page right to Rockle. Nice play there from Alex Page. Rockle with the full head of steam the other way. Without numbers, loses her footing. Nope, they're gonna get a foul on the Trojans. That foul was on Huber, her first, fifth of the quarter on the Trojans. That'll sub in Dyer for Wasman. Now send Kayla Rockle to the free throw line to shoot two. Rockle's first trips there tonight. Rockle shooting career high 73% from the free throw line this year. Jordan Dress sets check back in. As will Mike and Vincent and Savannah Walsdorf. While we wait, update on the men's uh, conference tournament title game. Bellevue leading Dickinson State 24-17. About five minutes left to go in the first half of that one. It's Kayla Rocco will toe the line to shoot two. Her first free throw. Off the back of the rim, no good. Comets coming into the evening, an 80% free throw shooting team is for a second free throw from Rocco is good. Her first points gives the Comets a one point lead. 26-25, 2.45 left to go here in the first half as right side Slattery controls. Slattery back out Huber. Huber at the free throw line, leaves it out Walsdorf. She'll fire the three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound down in the hands of Mackenzie Hughes. Hughes will bring it the other way. Now pull it back out, leave it left side for Zrust. Just right, left side for Rocco. She'll pop a three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound grab by Savannah Walsdorf, her fourth. Taylor Dean set to check back in for the Comets. Next dead ball. It's left side, Walsdorf controls. Leave it in the corner for Vincent. Vincent gets to the free throw line, picks up a dribble, back out Walsdorf. Walsdorf with 15 on the shot clock. Spin move, Mertens loses her footing. Into the corner for Dyer. Dyer goes it out towards the wing. Leave it Walsdorf, wide open, triple try. Is no good. Rebound grab by Jordan Dress. Good box out there from Jess Mertens to keep Slattery underneath the basket. Allow Dress to grab the rebound. Ball is tapped out by Dwyer. Taylor Dean back in for the Comets. Kayla Rock will have a seat at the uh, Jess Mertens to inbound right in front of the Trojan vents. Comets looking to build on this one point lead. Inbound comes to Hughes. Hughes to the free throw line, picks up her dribble, leaves it out left side. For Zrust. Zrust back out Mertens. Mertens fakes the three, puts it on the deck. Back out Hughes. Hughes for a 4 3 off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound tapped around, grabbed by Vincent. Vincent, right side slattery into the corner for Huber. Vincent controlling in the corner. Tries to get back to Huber. Stolen by Hughes, but she stepped out of bounds as she tried to go around. Huber, so we'll go back to the Trojans. Aaron Walker back in for the Comets. Alex Page will have a seat. The ref is over here getting the shot clock figured out. They're gonna leave it at 19. Hmm, interesting choice there. For sure thought they'd reset it. If they don't, it'll be Hubert inbound right in front of the student section. Get it into Dyer. Dyer left side with 15 on the shot clock. Leave it for Walsdorf. Walsdorf loses her footing. Somehow doesn't get called for a travel. Leaves it out Vincent. Vincent to Dyer with seven on the shot clock. Dyer spin move back out right side, Walsdorf. Ralsdorf into the lane. Offhand layup is no good. Rebound grab by Mertens. Mertens sixth board of the ball game. Mertens still with it. Picks up her dribble. We'll get it to Dean on the wing. Dean controlling top of the key. 45 seconds left to go here in this first half. Zrust controlling now. 
Druss, jump stop, spin back out Mertens, back over Walker. Walker puts it on the deck, picks it up with seven, back out Mertens. Mertens to Dean. Dean will fire the three with three on the shot clock off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound grabbed by Savannah Walsdorf, her fifth. She'll leave it out for Dyer. Shot clock is off. Dakota State going to hold for the final shot of this first half. As Dyer will waste time out on the North Dakota logo. 15 on the shot clock. Chance at defense right now here in the Louis Lee from the Comet student section and bench. Left side slider controls. Now she'll drive right. Spin move. Cut off by Zruss. Loses it right to Hughes. Here's a three up ahead, Dean. Dean at the buzzer, no good, but she is fouled on the shot. No, they're gonna wave it off and not say it was a shot. Now the refs are gonna talk about it. No, they're gonna wave it off, no foul. I think that's the right call. Much to the dismay of the Comet fans, but I think that was, I think that was the right call. Can't really say she was shooting, it was pretty wild. So that's how the first half will end. Comets lead by one. 26-25, we'll take a little bit of a break, come back, look at the first half numbers in this one. Make it Mayville. Whether you're just getting started or finalizing your choice, we make it easy. Navigating scholarships, applications, and which majors and minors are available, it can all be overwhelming. You have goals, we have options, on campus and online, and we will guide you through each step. Make it Mayville. Your success starts here. Learn more at Mayville State today. Our agribusiness program is built around you, the student. We give you the skill sets to be successful in the path you want to pursue, whether that be as a producer or with a career in agribusiness-related industries. We have smaller class sizes that allow us to really spend time with students and customize their learning experience. My favorite part about the agribusiness program is just knowing that when you walk in, you're going to learn something new for the day. The professors at Mayville State are great, they're welcoming, and they will always know your name. Our instructors have real-world experience. They've worked on farms. They know what agriculture is all about. As a geographer, I would want students to have an understanding of kind of the spatial processes of agriculture in this country and as well as kind of the globe, but also in terms of geospatial technologies um, and their ability to work with ideas around precision agriculture, GPS, drones. Um, those are really the things that help to diversify coursework and really prepare students for a, a better career in agribusiness. With agriculture, geology can be a real important part. Actually, it's a huge part for agriculture because the one thing that almost everybody in agriculture, whether you're livestock or crop side of it, with very few exceptions, you are dealing with your ground and, and the land that you are working on. And having a great understanding of what practices in farming can make that land as healthy and productive as possible, you are better suited to stay in business longer and be more successful. 25% of the workforce is agricultural related. We take pride in knowing our students are well prepared to enter this workforce because of our coursework, our field experience opportunities, and our internship program. We really believe that we're going to be able to produce students that are ready to go out, start in the workforce, and really make a difference. I think they're going to be very well prepared to work in the field of agriculture or related businesses, which is outstanding. In the business division, we tell students that a business degree is going to give them so many different opportunities. Our degree is very general. Students can choose a couple different specializations or choose a minor or even um, choose a second major. They can choose specializations in management, marketing, banking and finance, agribusiness, and accounting. The faculty at Mayville State in the business division, we have real world experience. I've managed in the nonprofit sector. We have a CPA that does accounting classes. We have business owners, franchise owners. We have people that have actually done the stuff we're teaching you to do. I'm a certified public accountant. I went through and, and uh, earned the, the certification. And I know what, what it requires to get there. And I'd like to instill that into my students. I'm, I'm currently still practicing in my spare time. I have my own uh, tax preparation firm and I bring those experiences into the classroom. The business instructors are awesome. They're extremely helpful. 
they are really friendly with you. It, it's almost like they've become family at some points. You're not going to get lost in the cracks. We're definitely gonna check in on you, make sure you're doing okay, help you whenever we can. And they're all great mentors that you can go to just for advice um, or questions that you have in, during class or anything. They're just really easy to talk to. If you're thinking of coming to Mayville State, be prepared to roll your sleeves up and do. We like to have students actually um, create and, and apply concepts learned in the classroom to real life business problems and ultimately that makes them better when they graduate Mayville State and enter the workforce. Goose River Bank is here for the communities we serve, building relationships that last a lifetime. Serving the strong Red River Valley and beyond, we are your neighbors, friends, and family, committed to providing everything from everyday personal banking to loans for your farm or business. Visit one of our locations in Mayville, Hillsboro, or Hatton, or reach out and we'll happily come to you because it's the neighborly thing to do. Goose River Bank. This past season, we had a great season. We went over 20 wins, which is amazing. We made it to the national tournament. We went to the second round, and that is more than all of us could ever ask for. The camaraderie that I have with my teammates is more than I would ever would have thought I would have ever had with a team. We're so close together, and we push each other off and on the floor to get better. My coach and I um, have a great relationship. We, we butt heads sometimes, but I think that's what makes us have such a great relationship. He sees one thing, I see the other, and we can talk about it. And I've never had a coach that I would be able to have him listen to me and to see what I have to say and vice versa. And he pushes me off the court as well as in the classroom and then on the court. And he wants what's best for me and my future too as well, and he prepares me for that. I currently broke the school record in scoring and Kenzie's mom, my current teammate, um, Beth Copang had it, well Beth Hughes, and I, when I first came as a freshman I looked at the list and I thought to myself like this is what I want to do, this is one of the main goals I want to have before I leave. And so I put in the work in and out over the past couple years and me and Beth talked about it actually and she told me that if there was one person to do it she'd want it to be me so that pushed me even harder. And so for her to see the game, me break it during the national tournament, and for her to be there was a bittersweet moment. Goose River Bank is here for the community. We're at halftime here, the Women's North Star Athletic Association Conference Tournament Championship game. Before we go into the halftime numbers of this one, give you an update on the men's conference tournament title game between the six-seeded Dickinson State Blue Hawks and the one-seeded Bellevue Bruins. They're at halftime down in Bellevue, Bellevue leading 30 to 25 over Dickinson State, so close game down there too. Got a close one here. Comets lead Trojans 26-25 in a battle of the top two seeds and two of the top 15 teams in the country. Also a rematch of last year's championship game. Just the Comets were able to pick up the win 66-52. So I guess it's going to be a little bit closer here in this one. Look at the numbers. This one, first team-wise, first for the Trojans. They finished the first half 8 to 24 from the field for 33%, 4 of 13 from 3 for 31%, 5 of 7 from the free throw line for 71%. 10 turnovers, 6 assists on those 8 made buckets though. For the Comets, they finished 10 of 24 from the field in the first half for 42%, 3 of 9 from 3, 33%. All three of those three pointers off the hands of Mackenzie Hughes. And three of six from the free throw line for 50%. A little bit uncharacteristic shooting there from the Comets from the free throw line. Comets 10 turnovers as well. Four assists on 10 made buckets. Trojans winning the rebounding battle so far, 17 to 14. Comets yet to record an offensive rebound. Dakota State has two offensive rebounds. Individual numbers, first for the Trojans. Really balanced scoring attack for them. They're led by Angela Slattery with seven points in the first half. Savannah Walsdorf had five points to go along with five rebounds, three points apiece for Bria Wasman and Caitlin Dyer. 
two points apiece for Mike and Vincent, Olivia Ritter and Sierra Watkins, and one point for Tabor Teal. For the Comets, really just two players doing the scoring so far. Jordan Zruss leading the way with 12 points in the first half to go along with three rebounds and two assists. Nine points for Mackenzie Hughes all via the three-pointer. Two points apiece for Aaron Walker and Jess Mertens and one point for Kayla Rocco. Comets need to get some of their uh, role players go, go on here scoring the ball in the second half. They want to repeat as champions. In for a good finish. Three lead changes, three ties so far in this one. So fairly even stats. So I'll do it for the halftime numbers here. Still a little over five minutes left to go here before the second half. So we'll take a break, come back though, second half, right after this.
second half, just about ready to get underway. It'll be Trojans ball. Starting five out there for the Comets. Mertens, Walker, Hughes, Decker, and Zrust. Starting five for the Trojans and Dyer, Walsdorf, Slattery, Mackley, and Huber. So it'll be Mackley to inbound. Then out comes two Dyer in the backcourt. We are underway here in the second half of play. Comets lead 26-25. Right side, Dyer controls, spin move, gets in the middle lane, cut off by Walker, back out Walsdorf, leave it right side for Huber. Huber leaves it back out, Dyer on the wing. Back out Huber, she'll fire wide open, triple try, and hit it. Trojans lead, 28-26. Inbound comes to Decker. Decker will leave it for Hughes. Hughes will bring it across for the Comets and get free of everybody, back out Walker. Walker, shot fake. Puts up the shot, in and out, no good. That was halfway down and kicked out. Should give her half a point for that one. So you go back the other way, Trojans controlling. Right side, Huber. Huber, back out. Smackley wants a three, off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound checked down by Walker. She'll get it to Zrust. Zrust will leave it for Hughes. Hughes gets free of everybody. End of the lane, she is going to be, nope, that's going to be a jump ball. Because that's going to stay with the Comets. Good defense there from the Trojans. Tabor Teal, Sierra Watkins will sub in for the Trojans. Huber and Mackley out. Be CJ Decker to inbound on the baseline for the Comets. 22 to shoot on the shot clock. Inbound comes to Mertens on the wing. Mertens gets it into the post for Zrust. Zrust dribbles right, right hand layup. No good, gets her own rebound though. She'll leave it back out Decker. Decker thought about the three, back out Hughes. Hughes shot fake, step back, now leave it for Zruss, Zruss with 11 on the shot clock. Zruss spin move end of the lane. She'll spin back right, muscle up a right hand layup, no good. Gets her own rebound again, right hand layup is no good, but she is fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. Persistence pays there for Zruss. That foul is on Slattery, her second, first of the quarter on the Trojans. I'll send Zruss to the free throw line to shoot two. Zruss, two of four so far tonight from the free throw line, 12 points, five rebounds. Zruss coming in, averaging a career high 21 points. Makes the first one. Also 86 pin from free throw line this year. Career high was named the player of the year for the second year in a row last week when the conference awards came out. Second free throw from Zust is also good. We are tied at 28. Zust has got 14 points. Left side Dyer controls. She'll leave it for Walsdorf. Walsdorf cut off. Back out Watkins. Watkins on the wing. She'll leave it for Walsdorf in the corner. She'll fire the three. Too strong, misses everything. No good. Rebound grab by Jordan Zrust. Comets can take the lead here with the bucket. Zrust will leave it for a trailing Hughes. Hughes crossover. Jump stop in the middle of the lane. Back out Zrust. She'll hand off to Mertens. Mertens to the right side now. Crossover back to the left. Leave it out Walker. Walker, she'll fire the three. No good. Wide left. Rebound out into the hands of Tabor Teal. Teal gets all the way down in the middle of the lane. Cut off by Walker. It leaves it into the corner for Watkins. Watkins drives baseline. Now back towards the middle of the lane. Leave it out Walsdorf. Walsdorf right side. Dyer thought about the three. Said she'll put it on deck to the free throw line. Leave it back out for Slattery. Slattery cut off by Mertens. Dyer she'll fire the three with 10 on the shot clock. No good. Misses everything. Possession will go to the Comets. They'll sub in Bria Wasman and Olivia Ritter for the Trojans. Walsdorf and Dyer will have a seat. Decker to inbound, she'll get it in to Hughes in the backcourt. Trojan still with this 1-2-1-1 one, one, one almost jump press going here. It's caused a little bit of havoc for the Comets this afternoon. As Decker gets it across, leave it right side for Hughes. Hughes being guarded by Vincent. Bounce pass to a cutting Zrust who lays it up in it for two. Nice find there from Hughes to Zrust. Comets lead by two, 30-28, 7-15 left to go here in the third quarter. So right side Slattery controls. Back out for Wasman into the corner. That's a three ball from Slattery. Gives the Trojans the lead right back. Six three-pointer of the afternoon for the Trojans as a team. Comets just have three, all from Mackenzie Hughes as she'll fire a cross-court pass to Mertens. Mertens gets to the middle of the lane. Now to the right side, bounce pass to Zeros on the block and she's gonna be fouled by Slattery. That's Slattery's third, second of the quarter. 
on the Trojans. That'll sub in Mike and Vincent, Morgan Huber back in there, and Willie Mackley back in there for Slattery, Teal, and Watkins to be decorated inbound on the baseline for the Comets. She'll get it in to the opposite corner for Walker. Walker brings it out to his top key. Hughes down up on distance again, buries it. Her fourth three ball of the game. Gives the Comets a two point lead. Don't pass down to Mack. Lead back out, Vincent wants a three ball to answer. She does. Trojans back up on top by one. Inbound comes to Decker. Decker controlling in the backcourt will get across. Hughes also ties a career high with four three-pointers made with that last three ball. Pass into the post for Zeruss. Zeruss loses it and we're gonna have a foul on the Trojans. Thought maybe they're gonna get Zeruss with the travel there but nope, foul first. That's on Vincent, her second third of the quarter on the Trojans. That'll sub back in Dyer for Wasman. Taylor Dean in there for the comments for CJ Decker. Be Hughes to inbound on the baseline, right side for the comments. They trail by one, 6-0-1 left to go here in the third quarter. Inbound comes to Walker, now back up top for Dean. Dean will leave it right side for Hughes. Hughes thought about the three, so leave it right side for Walker. Walker back to Hughes with 10 on the shot clock, back to Walker as they play catch. Walker with seven, got to get a shot up here. Walker, turn around on the three on the shot clock, back out Merton, she has to put it up and misses everything, that's going to be a shot clock violation. Good defense there from the Trojans to force that. That'll sub in Alex Page for Aaron Walker. Turnover number 11 on the Comets this afternoon. They trail by one, 34-33, 5.35 left to go here in the third quarter is right side, Mackley controls. She'll get to the free throw line, cut off, back out Dyer. Dyer leaves it far side for Ritter. Ritter barrels into Hughes, and Hughes draws another offensive foul. It's the second time today she's done that. First foul there on Olivia Ritter, her first. Fourth of the quarter on the Trojans. That'll sub back in Greta Hillica for Jess Mertens. Hughes having herself a ball game. Same bout comes to Hillica in the backcourt. She'll leave it left side. For Dean, Dean cross court pass to Hughes. Hughes had Page wide open in the corner, just didn't see her. Hughes right side being guarded by Dyer. Hughes leaves it for Page. Trojan fans wanted to travel. Nice pass there from Page to the back door. Zeruss who lays it up and in for two. Comets regain the lead by one, 35-34. Three cross the halfway point here in the third quarter. Into the corner for Huber. She'll fire a three. Too strong, no good. Rebound tapped out of bounds. Last off for Jordan Zeruss. Possession remain with the Trojans. So I had a feeling this game was not gonna be like the other three they played. Of course, that first game of the year that these two teams played was a four point win for the Trojans, but the other two almost 30 point victories for either team. This one, gonna go down to the wire. Dyer controls, top of the key, she'll leave it left side. Huber, she'll fire the three. Rainbow three off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, Paige, she'll leave it. Dean, Dean looks to push tempo, but without numbers, she'll slow it down. Dean leaves it for Zrust on the side. Zrust, middle of the lane, step through, left hand layup is good. Jordan Zrust has got 20, Comets lead by three. Comets starting to get a little bit of momentum offensively here as Vincent controls top of the key. Should leave it left side for Ritter. Host a subset to check in for the Trojans at the next dead ball. Mackley, left side, Dyer, Dyer from way downtown. No good, rebound, no good, but good box out from Greta Hillica to draw the foul on Vincent. That's her third, fifth of the quarter on the Trojans. That was a great box out there from the sophomore Hillica to draw that. Savannah Walsdorf, Sierra Watkins, Angela Slattery, and Tabor Teal back in there for the Trojans. The only one staying out there is Dyer. So Vincent, Mackley, Huber, and Ritter will have a seed as they'll send Hillica to the free throw line to shoot two. Her first trips there tonight. Hillica averaging career high six points per game, shooting 83% from the free throw line on the year. First free throw is in and out, no good. Hillica still searching for her first points of the ball game. Second free throw is good, so she's on the board. 38-34, Comets lead. 
Left side, Dyer controlling. She'll get to the block. Leave it backside for Teal. Knocked out of bounds by Zruss. Good defense there to slot that one away. So it'll be Dyer to inbound on the baseline for the Trojans. Dyer leaves it for cutting. Uh, that was Slattery who lays it up and in for two, and she is fouled. That uh, foul was on Taylor Dean, her first, first of the quarter. That was up in Decker for Dean. So Slattery will go to the line to complete the N1. Slattery, four or five from the free throw line tonight. She's got 10 points. We'll look to make it 11 and complete the three point play here, which she does. That'll sub in Wasman for Dyer. And now it comes to Hillica in the backcourt. Back to Decker. Comets still lead by one, 38 37. Under four minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Decker controls, still leave it right side for Hughes. Hughes will bring it towards the wing, picks up her dribble, now leaves it out Decker. Decker, cross court pass to Zruss, but that's stolen away by Mackley. She'll leave it up ahead for Wasman, but knocked out of bounds by Decker. Possession will remain with the Trojans. Inbound comes to Wasman. She controls up top. Now leave it right side for Slattery. Slattery step through layup. Nice move. Gets fouled. Basket won't go, but she'll go to the line to shoot too. Nice move there. A foul is on Alex Page. Her second, second of the quarter. On the comments, I'll sub in Walker for the aforementioned Page. Slattery back to the free throw line to shoot too. She's got 13 points, five of six on the free throw line tonight. Slattery coming in, shooting 71% from the free throw line. Makes the first one. We are tied at 38. That'll sub back in Huber and Mackley after this one, if she were to make it. Free throw is no good. It hung on the rim, but didn't go down. Just the rebound, her seventh. It's Decker. We'll leave it right side for Hughes. Hughes from Caitlin Clark range, no good. Rebound tapped around, grabbed by Walsdorf. He throws it back in to Wasman. Trojan fans wanted a foul in the backcourt. Didn't get one there. They're going to get one there on the reach in from Hughes, her second. Third of the quarter on the Comets. That'll sub in Huber and Mackley for the Trojans. Watkins and Slattery will have a seat. The Wasman to inbound for the Trojans. She'll get it out up top for Mackley. Mackley, she'll fire from Caitlin Clark range. No good. Rebound will go out of bounds, almost saved by Wasm, and she goes crashing in to the front row. Possession will go to the Comets. Jess Merton's back in there for Greta Hillica, so starting five back out there for the Comets. Inbounds comes to Decker as we are deadlocked at 38. Under three minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Up ahead to Mertens. Mertens gets to the middle of the lane. Leaves it back out left side for Decker. Now back to Mertens. Mertens loses it, but is able to get it back. Almost has it stolen, but gets it right back. He's looking for somewhere to go with it. Leaves it for a cutting Hughes with eight on the shot clock. Tries to get it to Mertens, but has knocked out of bounds. Session remaining with the Comets. Seven seconds to shoot on the shot clock. These Comets were a little out of whack there on offense. Hughes to inbound. Gets it in Mertens. Mertens with six. Mertens into the post. For Zeruss, Zeruss with three on the shot clock. Muscles it up, no good. Rebound grab by Walsdorf. Walsdorf, seventh rebound of the game. Wasman controlling left side. Trojans can take the lead here, and we're going to have a foul on C.J. Decker, her third. Fourth of the quarter on the Comets. They're going to lead. Nope, they're going to sub her out. Taylor Dean will check in. Don't want Decker to pick up that fourth foul before the start of the fourth quarter. It'll be Huber to inbound. Update on the men's title game. Bellevue leading Dick Dickinson State 40-27. 15 minutes left to go in the second half of that one. As Teal had a step through, but she traveled. Turnover. Number 12 on the Trojans. We'll get the ball right back to the Comets. Comets can take the lead here. So we've been tied at 38 for a little bit now. It's Hughes to inbound in the backcourt. She'll get it in to Mertens. Mertens back to Hughes. Trojans still with this press. It's been causing some havoc for the comments behind that back dribble from Hughes gets free. 
Leave it out Walker. She'll fire the three. That was blocked by Walsdorf. Rebound grabbed by Zruss, but she is out of bounds. Savannah Walsdorf with the deflection there. Fourth block of the game for the Trojans for a team that averages right around four, just under five blocks per game, so right at their season average. As Wasman will bring it all the way to the right side, Huber back to Wasman. She fakes the three, puts it on the deck, dumps it down to Teal, who lays it up and in for two. Trojans lead by two, 40 38. Cole hosts the Trojans set to check in at the next dead ball as Mertens controls in the backcourt. Mertens picks up her dribble just across half court, leaves it for Dean. Zrust controlling now out top. Zrus gets in the middle of the lane, step through, layup, no good, a lot of contact, no whistle. Rebound grabbed by Walsdorf. Walsdorf will leave it for Charlie Wasman, but that was knocked out of bounds by Mertens. That'll sub in Dyer, Ritter, Vincent, and Slattery for Mackley, Wasman, Walsdorf, and Teal. Trojans go with the line chains, three forwards, one defenseman. See inbound comes, right side controlling is Slattery. Slattery, leave it out, Huber. Huber in the middle of the lane, leaves it back out, Dyer. Dyer with 12 on the shot clock, gets to the left side of the lane, goes into Walker, throws up a layup, no good. Rebound fought for, out of the pack with it is Slattery. We're gonna have a foul on Mertens. That's Mertens second, fifth of the quarter on the Comets. So that's on the Trojans to the line to shoot two. It'll be none other than Angela Slattery, already six of eight from the free throw line tonight for 14 points. Coach Hutter upset with that foul call. Slattery will toe the line for two. She'll make the first. Trojans lead by three. That'll summon Sierra Watkins after this free throw. 56.4 seconds left to go here in the third quarter of this one. That basket is good. Comets trail 42-38 as Watkins will sub in for Huber. Comets need a bucket, need one bad. They don't want this lead to balloon up any, any farther than it already is before the start of the fourth quarter as Mertens will bring across the timeline. She'll leave it left side for Hughes. Hughes controlling, gets to the block, cut off. Step through, right hand layup, no good. Rebound grab by Vincent. Comets have been scoreless for a while now. Vincent leave it for Slattery. Slattery gets in the middle of the lane, leave it back out Watkins. Watkins to the left side block. She'll leave it back out for Vincent. Vincent back out Dyer with 15 to shoot. About 11 second difference between shot and game clock. That pass in the corner almost stolen, but Slattery is able to control it. Slattery with six, back out Dyer. Dyer running floater from the free throw line is no good. Rebound by Vincent. I don't know how they didn't call a push on her there. She just pushed Russ to get the possession there. We're going to have a jump ball called. Possession remain with the Trojans. Missed a clear offensive foul there on Vincent. She just shoved Jordan's Russ in the back to get that rebound. But no whistle. So it'll be Dyer to inbound. 8.9 seconds left as Huber will sub back in for Watkins. Dyer will get it right into Slattery and she is fouled but no whistle. Walk the rebound. Guess maybe that was a makeup call. But a lot of contact there, no whistle. It was a jump ball. Possession will stay with the Comets. Hughes the inbound with 5.4 left to go here in the third quarter. See if the Comets can get a bucket here at the buzzer to give them some momentum. Mertens back out Hughes from way downtown. Oh, almost banked it in. But no good. That's how the quarter will end. Trojans leading 42-38. Buckle your seatbelt, folks. Fourth quarter up next. Goose River Bank is here for the communities we serve, building relationships that last a lifetime, serving the strong Red River Valley and beyond. We are your neighbors, friends, and family, committed to providing everything from everyday personal banking to loans for your farm or business. Visit one of our locations in Mayville, Hillsboro, or Hatton or reach out and we'll happily come to you because it's the neighborly thing to do. Goose River Bank, strong bank, strong communities.
update here in the men's title game. Bellevue leading Dickinson State 48-29. About 12 and a half minutes left to go in that one. They just uh, announced over the PA system and honored the Mayport CG women's basketball team who won a state championship last night in Jamestown at the Class B tournament. So congratulations to them. So you're back underway here, fourth quarter. Dakota State controls, leading by four. Slattery controls, chance of let's go comments running out from the student section. Dyer wide open, triple try. No good, rebound Mertens. Mertens has got seven rebounds tonight, just two points for her. She loses her footing, gives it back to Walker. I'm not sure how that wasn't a travel, but I won't complain. Gets into the post is Russ. Is Russ, back out Dean. Mertens, extra pass Hughes. Hughes, she'll fire a three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound grabbed by Zeress, but has it stolen away by Huber. We're gonna get a push shot there. No, they're gonna call Hughes with a block. Wow. Huber full on extended her arm. I don't know how that's not an offensive foul. But they're gonna get Hughes with her third. Huber controls the right side. She'll leave it back out Walsdorf. Walsdorf leaves it for Dyer. Dyer back to Huber on the wing. Huber to the free throw line. Back out right side Walsdorf. Leaves it out Huber. Huber wide open. Triple try. No good. But offensive rebound tracked down by Dyer. Dyer will bring towards the top of the key. Leave it right side for Walsdorf. Walsdorf with 11 on the shot clock. Gets to the middle of the lane. Cut off. Back out Huber. Huber back out Walsdorf from way downtown. Misses everything, no good. I'll sub in CJ Decker for Taylor Dean. Comet's been stuck on 38 points for a while. Where are they gonna go for offense? We'll have to wait and see as the inbound comes to Decker. She'll leave it for Hughes. Hughes has a stolen away. Nope, they're gonna get a foul called on Dyer. That'll be Dyer's second. That'll sub in Mackley for the Trojans. Slatterly will have a seat. Hughes to inbound in front of the Comets student section. Gets it in to Decker. Comets need a bucket, need one bad. Walker controlling left side. Behind the back dribble, she'll hand off Mertens. Mertens goes into the post for Hughes and she is fouled on the entry pass. That follows on Walsdorf, her second. That'll sub in Bria Wasman and Sierra Watkins for Caitlin Dyer and Morgan Huber. So we comments to inbound. Decker on the baseline will trigger in. She'll get it out up top for Mertens. Leave it right top of the key for Walker. Into the post for Zeruss. Zeruss puts on forward, double comes. We're gonna have three seconds called on Jordan Zeruss. Turnover number 13 on the Comets. Comets just look really out of sync offensively, which is very unusual for a team that is averaging 79 points per game. Left side, Walsdorf wants a three and she buries it. Pushes the lead to seven for the Trojans. Decker will play it back to Hughes. Hughes picks up her dribble, will get it across to Decker. Decker back to Hughes. Leave it right side for Mearns into the corner. Walker, she'll fire the three and bury it. Much needed three there for the Comets. Off the hands of Aaron Walker. Cuts it to a four point game. 45 41. Walker's first three ball of the game. First three pointer from the Comets. That wasn't from someone named Mackenzie Hughes. Coach Hutter calls a timeout. 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. It's the first points for the Comets in a while. Be interesting to see where they go for offense from here. Is every time Zuss has put the ball on the floor in the post, she has been double teamed. The Dakota State ball here. They lead by four, 45-41, 7.45 left to go here in the fourth quarter of play in this North Star Athletic Association Women's Conference Basketball Tournament Championship as the inbound comes 
to Wasman in the backcourt. She'll bring it across the timeline on the left side. She'll get to the block, leave it down for Teal, who got free, lays it up and in for two. Tabor Teal's got five points tonight. Back up to six point lead for the Trojans. Hughes gets it across to Decker. Decker leave it for Mertens. Mertens puts on the floor, loses her footing, picks it up, and we're gonna have a timeout called by Coach Hutter to save a possession. Dakota State's coach wants a travel call. I think it could have been a tripping call on Dakota State. It's a full timeout. We'll take it with them back after this. Mayville State has great new scholarship opportunities. Together with our affordable cost, fantastic quality of education, and our commitment to personal service, Mayville State University is the place to be. A university that provides exceptional experience for a great value. Study on campus or online. Make it Mayville State. There's no fee to apply for admission. Go to www.maybillestate.edu slash make it Mayville to explore all that awaits you as a student at Mayville State University. Seven nineteen left to go here in the fourth quarter. Dakota State Trojans leading the Mabel State Comets, 47-41 in conference tournament championship game. Trojans looking for revenge on the Comets as the Comets beat the Trojans in last year's conference tournament title game. The Comets ball, 16 seconds left to shoot on the shot clock. It'll be Decker to inbound on the baseline. Shield trigger into Hughes and throws it up overhead out of bounds. Turnover number 14 on the Comets. As their offensive woes continue here. Sam out comes to Wasman in the backcourt. She'll leave it right side for Mackley. Mackley into the corner for Vincent. Vincent has it poked out of bounds by Decker. Session will stay with the Trojans. 18 seconds left to shoot on the shot clock here. So it'll be Ritter to inbound on the sideline. She'll get it in to Vincent on the wing. Vincent picks up a dribble, leave it right side for Mackley. Mackley, couple of dribbles to the left side, has it poked away by Mertens out of bounds. Stay with the Trojans, 10 seconds left to shoot on the shot clock. Ritter will get it inbound to Wasman. Almost had a stolen away. Wasman with six. Leaves it out. Mackley, she'll fire from way downtown. Off the rim, no good. Rebound checked down by Watkins, but stolen away by Mackenzie Hughes. Hughes to the left side of the lane, and she's going to be fouled on the drive by Wasman. Her first, third of the quarter on the Trojans. That'll sub in four new players. Tabor Teal. Angela Slattery, Savannah Walsdorf, Caitlin Dyer. Huber stayed out there. Decker to inbound on the baseline. She'll get it in two. Mertens on the wing. Mertens will bring it out top of the key. Now picks up her dribble. Almost lost her flame. Gets it to Walker who gets it into Zrust. Zrust to the right side of the lane. Lays it up and in for two. Her first points in a while. She's got 22. Comets trail by four, 47-43. Comets need to stop here on defense to keep this momentum on their side. Almost stolen away Decker. Dyer will control right side. She'll bring out left side. Huber wide open three in the corner is no good. Rebound comes out to Huber. As nobody boxed out for the Comets. Now Walsdorf wants a three from the left wing and she buries it. Savannah Walsdorf in the double figures with 11. 50-43. Trojans lead. Hughes, we bring it across for Mayville State, leave it for Mertens. Mertens lost the handle on it, but was able to get it back. Mertens is gonna be fouled on the drive. That foul is on Dyer, her third, fourth of the quarter. One more on the Trojans. The Comps will be shooting free throws, which would be a good thing for them to score at the clock stop. The inbound comes from Decker to Mertens. Mertens down the left side of the lane. Leaves it in the corner for Walker. Walker into the post for Zrust. 
is Russ. Back out Walker. Walker fires a three from the wing. No good. Missed it wide right. Rebound out of the hands of the Trojans. Teal controlling. She'll leave it right side for Slattery. Slattery to Huber. Back to Slattery. Slatterly will dribble it towards the left side of the lane around Walker. Lays it up and in for two. Trojans lead by nine. Things are starting to get a little out of hand for the Comets. Mertens will dribble through a couple people. Leave it right side. Decker into the corner. Walker, she'll fire a three and bury it. Much needed answer there from Aaron Walker. Her second three of the game. She's got eight points. Comets trail by six. Under five minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. Chance of defense right out here in the Louie Lee from the Comet faithful. Dyer controls left side spin move into the lane. Leave it back out right corner for Huber who drives baseline. Tries to pass it opposite corner but knocked out of bounds by Mertens. Comets need to start stringing together some stops here. They want to come back and win this ball game and punch their ticket to the NAIA National Tournament. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession will go to the Comets as Mertens was tied up with Dyer. Mertens almost ripped it away there, but they blew the whistle just before. So there's a stop for the Comets. Now they need to capitalize on it. As Decker controls in the backcourt. She'll bring it across. Bounce pass to Hughes on the right side. Hughes to the free throw line. Leaves it back out. Mertens. Mertens into the lane. Bounce pass to Druss. Druss layup is no good, but she is fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. That foul is on Tabor Teal, her second. Fifth of the quarter, so the Comets will be shooting free throws the rest of the way here. Just to the free throw line, where she's four or six so far tonight. 22.7 rebounds, two assists. Free throw is no good from Zrust. Zrust can look to make it a five point advantage here. Cut into that lead. Free throw is good. She's got 23 from 52 47. Comets trail. 416 left to go here in this one. So we are in for a good finish here in the Louis Lee. Right side Slattery. Tries to bounce it down to Teal, but that was to be a kick ball on Aaron Walker. Be dire to inbound on the baseline for the Trojans. So get into Walsdorf, almost stolen away by Decker. Now Slattery controlling, being double teamed. Back out Walsdorf, she'll fire the three. Short, no good, out of bounds. Possession will go to the Comets. There's another stop for Mayville State. Now they just need to capitalize on it and score off of them. As Mertens controls in the backcourt, she'll leave it for Decker. Decker controlling right side, leaves it for Hughes on the wing. Hughes left side for Mertens. Chance of defense right now from the Trojan faithful. Mertens gets free, tries to bounce it for Zeruss. We're gonna have a jump ball that will go back to the Trojans. Mertens had a layup there, but she tried to, was expecting that defender to slide over, but she didn't. So jump ball, possession back to the Trojans. Dyer will cross the timeline. Three and a half minutes left to go here in this one. Trojans lead by five, 52-47. Walsdorf in the corner, loses it out of bounds, and Hughes almost was able to save it. But she stepped on the sideline there, so we'll stay with the Trojans. 15 seconds left to shoot on the shot clock. It'll be Hubert inbound in front of the Trojan bench. She'll get it in to Dyer. Dyer controlling now top of the key. She'll leave it far side for Walsdorf. Walsdorf to the free throw line for Teal. Teal has it stolen away by Walker. Walker is gonna be fouled as she falls out of bounds. Nice play there from Aaron Walker, who's having herself a game defensively. That foul is on Slattery, her fourth, sixth of the quarter. So that'll send Aaron Walker to the free throw line to shoot two. Lily Mackler is checking for Slattery. Walker, eight points tonight, three rebounds, playing some great defense, also has a block. Walker shooting career high 95% from the free throw line on the year. Can cut it to a one possession game. She makes the first one. Four point lead for the Trojans, 52-48. Walker can make it a one possession game here. She makes this one. And she does not, that hit the back of the rim and bounced out. So a four point lead, 52-48. Walker's only second free throw missed on the season. 
His right side Huber controls, now in the corner Dyer. Dyer bounce pass down Teal, and she's gonna be fouled. They're gonna get Mertens, her third. So Decker, Hughes, and Mertens all have three fouls for the Comets. Under three minutes left to go here, they trail by four. Huber controls left side, she gets all the way down the middle of the lane, floater no good, rebound grab by Zrust. So that's another stop for the Comets, can they capitalize? Zrust with it, leaves it for trailing Hughes on the top of the key. Hughes puts it on the deck, gets the right side of the rim, layup no good, rebound Zrust and she is fouled. So that will send Zrust to the free throw line to shoot two. That foul is on Mackley, her second. That'll sub in Slattery for Mackley. Zrust to the free throw line. Five of eight so far today. Leading the way for the Comets with 23 points. Comets can cut it to a two point game here. If she makes both of them, she makes the first one. So it's a one possession game, 52-49. Also a nice thing for Mayville State is scoring with the clock stopped. Second free throw is also good. It's a two point game. 52-50, Trojans lead. It is absolutely ruckus here in the lead. lead chance of defense rain out as right side Slattery controls. Slattery step through. Nope, that's going to be a travel turnover on the Trojans. Number 15 on the ball game. Much to the dismay of Trojan fans and to the delight of Comets fans. So we'll have an official's timeout here for Zrust to tie her shoe. I thought she didn't travel. It looked like it was a textbook step through, but the ref saw it otherwise. There's been some questionable calls both ways here today. Inbounds comes to Mertens in the backcourt. Mertens leaves it for Hughes. Now up ahead, Decker. Thomas can tie or take the lead here. Hughes, spin move to the free throw line, leaves it up Decker. Now Mertens controlling on the wing. Mertens into the middle of the lane. Jumper off glass, no good. Rebound grab by Slattery. Jess Mertens has been absolutely snake bit here this evening. Just one of nine from the field is up ahead. Huber controls, tries to his baseline. Kick save from Aaron Walker. She kicks it out of bounds. Under two minutes left to go here. 52-50, Trojans lead. Down in Bellevue, Bellevue a big 60-43 under a minute left, or under two, three minutes left to go in that one. And somehow, Teal gets the layup to go. She's falling down. Tough bucket there from Teal. Full timeout called by Dakota State. We'll take it with them. They lead the comments 54-50. Minute 49 left to go here in the North Star Athletic Association Women's Conference Tournament Championship game. Dakota State leading Mayville State 54-40. Comets ball out of the timeout as Teal was able to get that last bucket to go somehow. Hughes to inbound, she'll get it in to Decker. Decker controlling, leave it Hughes. Hughes will cross the timeline. Mertens controlling left side. She picks up her dribble, needs somewhere to go with it. Leaves it for Zrust. Zrust thought about the three. She'll put it on the floor. Step through, right hand layup is good. Thomas trail by two. 54-42. Decker almost got the steal on the inbounds there. Dyer able to keep it away. Right side Slattery. Gets in the middle of the lane, leaves it back out Dyer. Dyer in the corner will bring it out towards the wing. 
Huber, middle of the lane, leaves out Walsdorf. Walsdorf in the middle of the lane with 10 on the shot clock. Back out Huber. Huber back out Walsdorf. Walsdorf, couple dribbles of three, spin move, right hand layup, no good, but she is fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. That foul is on Aaron Walker, her first. Third of the quarter on the Comets. We are under a minute here, 58.8 seconds left. That'll send Walsdorf to the free throw line to shoot two. Her first trip there tonight. Walsdorf, 70% free throw shooter on the air. Makes the first, so that makes it a three point game. Walsdorf, 12 points, eight rebounds tonight. Walsdorf can make it a two possession game here, which she does, 56-52. Comets trail. Him out comes to Decker. Comets got to go, got to go quickly. Hughes bounce pass to Mertens. Mertens into the corner. Walker, Shoe wants a three. Bang! Aaron Walker, big time three ball, cuts it to one. The senior, ice in her veins. 56 55, Trojans lead by one. Coach Hutter calls a timeout. It's a full timeout. This is exactly what you want a conference championship game to be like, back and forth. Each team throwing haymakers at each other. Comets still need two fouls to give to get the Trojans into the bonus to shoot free throws. Don't necessarily have to foul just yet. About an 18 second differential between shot and game clock. 48.8 left to go on the game clock. That was Walker's third three ball of the game. Gets her into double figures with 12. Down in Bellevue on the men's side. Bellevue is going to hang on and they'll win the conference tournament championship. They're up 64-45 with a minute and a half left in that one. Barring some incredible comeback from the Blue Hawks. Both teams out of the huddle. It is absolutely loud in here. Both fan sections on their feet. Trojans ball. Comets are going to drop back. Inbound comes to Dyer. Dyer will leave it right side for Slattery. Slattery to the block. Cut off by Walker. Leaves it back out Huber. Huber in the middle of the lane, throws it away, but we're going to have a foul before. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it would have been a turnover. That foul is on Decker, her fourth. Fourth of the quarter, so the Comets have one more to give before free throws. 13 second differential between shot and game clock. 33.6 left to go here. Dyer gets it in. Sorry, blocked by Mertens. Comets can take the lead. Mertens up ahead, Hughes. Hughes left hand layup, Comets lead, 57-56, timeout Dakota State. Jess Mertens, a huge defensive stop on the block, leaves it up ahead, Hughes lays it in for two, her first bucket that was not a three ball. It's pandemonium in here right now, still a lot of time left though, shot clock is off. We'll see if Dakota State will hold for how long they wait to go before they make their move. Just about every fan in here is on their feet as they should be. This has been a heck of a game. Trojans advance the basketball with that timeout. It's something they can do here in college. It'll be Walsdorf to inbound. Comets lead by one, 57-56, 26.6 seconds left. Chance of defense raining out, Walsdorf will get it in to Teal, leaves it Dyer. Dyer right side, Slattery, Huber, 22 left to go here. Huber gets to the free throw line, cut off, back out corner, Slattery for three, off the back of him, no good, rebound, Druss, she is fouled, and she will go to the line to shoot two. Slattery got a great look at a three-pointer, but just left it short. Just the big time rebound to give her a double-double, and she will go to the line to shoot two. Two major free throws here in this one. She makes both of these, she can make it a three-point game. 
as they'll sub in Vincent for the Trojans. Tabor Teal will have a seat. Jordan Zrust, the two-time player of the year. The one they call the GOAT. Step into the free throw line to shoot two. Makes the first one. It's a two-point game. Comets will drop everybody back. Dakota State still has a few timeouts left. Comets with one. Zrust, money ball here. Makes it. It's a three-point game. 59-56. Coach Hunter will call his final timeout to set the defense. Dakota State has three timeouts left. They'll have to go the full length of the floor. We'll see if they decide to take a timeout and advance the ball after this one. This Comets lead by three. 12.1 left to go here in this one. Stay with us after the game as we'll leave it here for the presentation of the trophy and everything after that. Winner of this one will punch their ticket to the NAIA National Tournament. Loser will have to await their fate. The selection show is Thursday night, March 7th at 7 p.m. on the NAIA YouTube page. Fans still on their feet here. Trojans will have to go the full length of the floor. They still have three timeouts left, so we'll see if they decide to take one to advance the ball. Coach Mo driving up a play here. Comets, not necessarily a bad thing to foul here, just make sure it's not on a shot, as they still have one foul to give. Yep, and there's that timeout by Dakota State so they can advance the ball. It's a 30-second timeout. Kind of figured they would, so they'll advance it into the front court. Trojans down to two timeouts left. Comets with zero. See who the Trojans decide to give the ball to. Walsdorf and Slattery each have a few made three-pointers apiece. It'll be Walsdorf to inbound for the Trojans. They trail by three, 59-56, 12.1 seconds left to go here in regulation in this tournament championship game. Walsdorf will get it inbound to Dyer. Dyer will hand it off to Huber. Huber gets free, leave it. Vincent for the tie, no good. Offensive rebound, Walsdorf, her and Walker are tied up. It's a jump ball, possession will go to the Comets. 3.6 seconds left. Just don't turn the ball over if you're Mayville State. Dakota State going to sub in Mackley and Teal. Comets got to get the ball inbounds. They do not have a timeout left. Decker to inbound. They lead by three. Gets it into Mertens. Mertens is fouled. Zrust hit the deck away from the play, but the foul is on. Let's see who the foul is on here. Mertens is going to be the one to shoot free throws. That foul is on Caitlin Dyer, her fourth. Mertens, first trip to the free throw line tonight. Just two points, but eight rebounds, three assists. Played some great defense. Mertens, 76% free throw shooter on the year. Just has to make one of these pretty much to ice it. Burdens will toe the line for two. Her first free throw is on the way and good. Comets lead by four. The senior from Devils Lake with ice in her veins. Free throw is up and good. Comets lead by five. Dakota State will call a timeout. It's a full timeout. As barring something crazy, the Mayville State Comets are going to go back to back in tournament championship wins. Dakota State will advance the ball into the front court with that timeout. They trail by five, 2.5 seconds left.
Meanwhile, the men's tournament championship game has gone final. Congratulations to the Bellevue Bruins. They win the regular season and win the conference tournament title. They won 67-47 over the 60 of Dakota Dickinson State. Dickinson State had a heck of a run in that tournament, but congratulations to Bellevue. Comets out of their huddle. Trojans still with one timeout left. It'll be Walsdorf to inbound. Walsdorf will get it in to Vincent. Vincent at the buzzer, banks it in, and the Comets are your 2024 North Star Athletic Association Conference Tournament champions. They go back to back. What a comeback there from the Comets as it looked like for a while they were gonna lose this thing. But they come back in the fourth quarter and win it 61-59. Congratulations to the Comets. Trojan season not over though. They will definitely make it into the national tournament as they are hosting part of the opening round. The Comets get the automatic bid for the second year in a row. As the fans storm the court here. What a game, what a game. We'll keep it here for the presentation of the trophy. After all that's done, then we'll give you the final numbers. Did it, Comets get the automatic bid? Comets will find out where they go and who they play on Thursday night at seven during the selection show on the NAIA Women's or on the NAIA YouTube page. Excuse me. We'll keep it here and let you uh, watch the Comets cut down the nets for the second year in a row. This looks like Kayla Rocco will be starting the festivities here to cut the nets down. Uh, while we wait, I can go over the final numbers in this one. Comets will move to 24 and 3 on the season. Dakota State falls to 25 and 5. First for Dakota State, they finished the game 19 of 55 from the field for 35%, 10 of 35 from 3 for 28%, 11 of 14 from the free throw line for 78%. This is Kayla Rocco up on the ladder cutting down her piece of the net. Dakota State finished with 15 turnovers, 15 assists on 19 made baskets. This will be Taylor Dean next up on the ladder, the senior from Stanley, North Dakota. As we are the champions, the raids down here in the Louis Lee. For Mayville State, they finished 20 of 49 from the field, 41%, 7 to 21 from three for 33%, 14 to 20 from the free throw line for 70%. As 
Jess Mertens, the senior from Devils Lake, cuts down her piece in the net. Comets finished with 15 turnovers. 10 assists on 20 made baskets. Rebounding battle was tied, 32-32, but Dakota State edged the offense rebounds with seven. Sydney Brecken up next, six foot senior from Hillsboro, North Dakota. Individual numbers. We'll wait a little bit for the individual numbers. So next up will be Alex Page, the six foot junior from Grand Forks. New transfer in this year from Minnesota Crookston. Mackenzie Hughes up next. Hughes, the junior from Thompson, North Dakota. Next to cut down the nets, the GOAT, Jordan Zrust, grad student out of Buffalo, Minnesota. Bree Hutter up next. Hutter, the senior from Mayville here. Her dad's also the head coach. Next up, Emma Pesa. Emma Pesa couldn't play this year. She uh, hurt her knee, but is still with the team. Pesa from Minot. Next up will be CJ Decker, the senior from Howard Lake, Minnesota. Next up, Greta Hillica, the 5'8", excuse me, the sophomore from Perham, Minnesota. Aaron Walker is yet to put down the trophy. Oh, there she did. <laughs> she was holding that thing the whole time. Next up, to cut down the net, Ava Butler, the sophomore from Mount Iron, Minnesota. Next up, Molly Robbins, the sophomore from Lemoore, North Dakota. Annika Ryerson next up to cut down the net. Ryerson, the sophomore from Frazee, Minnesota. Next up on the ladder, ladder, Bethany Holter, sophomore from Laramore, North Dakota. Next up to cut down that was Madison Rafferty, a sophomore from Regent, North Dakota. I'll bring up Lily Riley, the freshman from Piers, Minnesota. Next on the ladder, Gracie Kaczynski, a freshman out of Lidgerwood, North Dakota.
bring up Bailey Harder, junior out of Olympia, Washington. To finish it off, to finish it off, Aaron Walker, the fifth year senior from Beelon, North Dakota. Interesting note for uh, Walker and Zruss, the two fifth year seniors, that's their third title. Two uh, they won one their freshman year, a regular season title, and then two conference titles and a regular season title this year. So they gonna need some more fingers <laughs> after a while, all the rings they're getting. So Nets have been cut down, so we'll go ahead and look at the final individual numbers in this one. Again, Maple State winning 61-59. First for the Trojans. Two in double figures. They're led by Angela Slattery with a team, team high 18 points to go along with five rebounds. For Savannah Walsdorf, 13 points, eight rebounds. Eight points for Mike and Vincent to go along with six rebounds off the bench. Seven points for Tabor Teal with four rebounds. Three points apiece for Bria Wasman, Caitlin Dyer, Morgan Huber. Wasman also had five assists. And two points apiece for Olivia Ritter and Sierra Watkins. Rounds out the scoring for the Trojans. For the victorious and champions Comets, they're led by none other than Jordan Zruss with a game high 29 points. She also had 10 rebounds, so another double double on the year. 14 points for Mackenzie Hughes, four of eight from downtown. Tied to Kerr High, three pointers made with four. Aaron Walker, the final comment in double figures with 12, also hit the big time three, which cut the lead to one at the time. She finished with three rebounds as well. Played some amazing defense. Also had two steals and a block. For Mertens, four points, eight rebounds, three assists. No steals for Mertens tonight. Odd for someone averaging almost three. <laughs> That's the getting ready to take the team picture and uh, Jess Mertens is over talking to families. They're trying to call her over and she hasn't, oh, she's being interviewed by the newspaper. <laughs> That's funny. We'll finish out here, uh, one point apiece each for Kayla Rocco and Greta Hillica. So I round out the scoring for the Comets. Also the final time you'll see the seniors on this floor in the Louis Lee. CJ Decker, Aaron Walker, Kayla Rocco, Sydney Brecken, Taylor Dean, and Jordan Just the graduating class this year. Jess Mertens will be back next year for another year. So I'll do it for the final stats in this one. There are a total of five ties and 10 lead changes in that game. It's what you want to see in a championship game, back and forth battle between top two teams in the conference, let alone two of the top 15 teams in the country. So now the comments await who they will play and where they will go. Dakota State, same as them. I'm assuming Dakota State will be at home in Madison, South Dakota, as they are selected as one of the host sites for the opening round of the tournament, the national tournament, that is. The selection show will be Thursday night, March 7th at 7 on the NAIA YouTube page. Find out all the teams going there. Bellevue Bruins won the men's title tonight, so they punched their ticket. Maple State's men kind of up in the air. If they will make the national tournament or not as they lost last weekend in the semifinals to Dickinson State. So we'll see if they are able to, to get in with the at-large bid. We'll have to wait and see. So the Comets go back to back. Won the conference tournament last year. They win the regular season and conference tournament this year. There's a college basketball kind of runs through Mayville State here in the state of North Dakota, especially on the women's side, is they know nothing but winning, especially the senior class. Is, uh, for those who don't know, the senior class over the last four years is the winningest women's basketball program in the state of North Dakota across all levels. So Division I, Division II, NAI, and Junior College, which is an incredible feat. This is the success that Coach Hutter has had with this program in his tenure here. This continues.
fans are out on the court. Everybody's taking pictures, celebrating this championship, but work still be done. I'm sure the comments are gonna enjoy this one. They'll be back to work this week. So I'll do it for us. I wanna thank everybody, wherever you were, for tuning in, not only today, but all season here from the Lily Lee for Comets basketball. Comet baseball and Comet softball in their season. Comet softball down in Tucson this week, playing games. Comet Baseball will travel to Kansas this weekend to take on St. Mary's, and then they'll go up to Iowa for two games on Sunday. And they'll stay in Iowa for two games on Tuesday, and then conference play will start next weekend for the Comets Baseball teams. They'll travel down to Madison to take on these Trojans in the first four games of the North Star Conference season for baseball. Once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Pleasure to bring you the action here. So again, Comets victorious, winning the conference tournament championship 61-59 over the Trojans. Hope everybody has